Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Legendia. In the last part, we finished the puzzle booth, and then we fought a boss. And now we can leave. Yes. But, this at least, no, 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 ooh, ooh, no, no, nope, nope, Chuck Testa. Eh, no, 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 stop it, no, I'm not fighting you. I'm gone. There we go. Okay, good. Blech. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> when I, if I need to grind, I'll grind outside the city. And heads up, I'm not gonna remember to grind because I'm not gonna want to play this just to grind. So, yeah. Hell, I might even turn it like to easy, <laughs> just because I don't want to have to grind and stuff. Uh, because I'm not above that, you know. It's not gonna change anything. Like I don't. There's nothing special in this game for beating it on a, like a harder difficulty. It's not like um, it's not like in Tales of the Abyss where you have to beat Abyss uh, Abyssion. Um, where you have to beat Nebulim on unknown to get that title. There is no Nebulim battle in this game, sadly. But, oh well. On. Yep. It should not take 14 seconds to run away from these enemies. My god, it's way too long. But okay. I just don't want to put up with them because, you know, the automatons are annoying, the casters are freaking deadly, the beds always have those field of effects thingies, so I don't want to deal with constant status conditions, so there you go. Uh, what difficulty am I on, anyway? Uh, normal, okay. Okay, uh, I wanted to use a holy bottle. Holy bottle. There you are. Man, did I already use that many in here? How much money do I have, by the way? Okay, 21,000. I'm gonna need to, gr I'm gonna need to grind on enemies to get some money, because those freaking, um, you know, those black onyxes were really expensive. But hey, at least I bought them now when I needed them, and I didn't just wait until way too late to buy them, you know what I mean? That way I don't have to buy anything too expensive ever again, aside from my armor. Nope. <laughs> Sorry, Will. I'm gonna let you finish, but... Oh. Okay. A new Arcane Heiress. Um, I'm gonna let you finish, but I'm not gonna let you finish. So, there you go. Anyway... Uh, please get me out of here. See, I'm doing this way too late at night, and my head is not on right, and I got like a headache. <laughs> I shouldn't be doing this right now, but I want to get it done, even though I could probably go for some sleep. <laughs> I pushed myself way too damn hard for practically nothing, but oh well. Anyway, um, is that a big item? No, it's not. Lame. It should, that should be an armor item. That should be a very easy to get armor item. Come on. Oh well. Let's have us oh, stop with the annoying enemies. I've already got so much of you guys' freaking thingies. You know, the Aeris Stones. You know, why do they have the, why do they call them automatons? You know, that'd be cool if, if they were called murder and perfect murder. You know? I would love that. And by the way, if I ever make a robot or anything like that, or if I ever have like a robot sidekick, it's gonna be called robot, uh, robot. <laughs> it's gonna be called perfect murder, just so you know. And if you don't know what perfect murder is, and I perfectly understand if you don't, um, that's the name that they always give robot enemies in Tales games. So, um, perfect murders, they existed in Tales of Eternia. They were in Tales of Symphonia. They were also in Tales of Vesperia. They were those little four-legged robot thingies that you fought on Heracles. So, yeah. That is what perfect murder is. So, that's why you'll hear me sometimes call robot perfect murder. Because robots should be perfect murder in these games. Looks like we came here for nothing. Well, at least now we know it's not here. Anyway, let's go back to town. And yeah, that's progress. Hmm, I thought I'd find it here. Back to the drawing board. But yeah, even if you don't find something, you know, that's that's at least eliminating a variable. And if you know it's on the Legacy and in one of the dungeons, that's like, you know, the ancient Terraces era dungeons, there's not that many to look through. You know, you got the Ruins of Frozen Light. Oh, sweet crap, we're gonna have to go through there again. 
Huh. I think we're gonna have to go through the ruins of Frozen Light again, and I don't want to. That dungeon sucks. But anyway, you know, you're at least illuminating a variable. It's progress. First things first, let's get some grub. You can't do anything on an empty stomach. Oh, not you again. My, my, for all your enthusiasm as you set out. Oh, wait. For all your enthusiasm as you set out, it seems you have come up with nothing. Hey, be quiet. Today was just preliminary research. Just be careful you don't wind up spending your whole life doing preliminary research. Man, could you just shut up? We're only just getting started. Go away, old man. Shoo, shoo. My pleasure. I wouldn't want anyone to think I like talking to monkeys anyway. You're an asshole. Man, those two sure don't get along. They should learn to be more like me and Geet. Yes, you and Geet certainly are close. Norma, is something wrong? You know, I think I'm going to pass on the food. Today was a long day. I'm going to bed. I guess all that excitement just wore me out. Sometimes I don't know when to quit. Hehe. <laughs> well, see you later. Bye. She looked a little down. I hope she's okay. Where are you, Everlight? I thought for sure you'd be in the man-eating ruins. How many times did I screw up today? I'm not cut out for this. I wonder if I'll ever find the Everlight. I wonder if I'm even capable of finding the Everlight. I'm just not cut out for this. Huh? Not cut out? What kind of talk is that? You don't know what not cut out means? I feel sorry for you. What? You're actually depressed about something? Ugh, boring. Hey, Norma, come here. Let Master make you feel all better. Ew, no way. Let me guess. You hit a wall with your Rolara studies? How did you know I was studying Rolaris? Oh, please. Hello. Duh. Okay, don't answer the question. Whatever. Leave me alone. Sheesh, a little sensitive, are we? I heard from a friend of yours, that rich girl. She promised she wouldn't tell you. Yeah, well, it was pretty tough getting her to talk. I used all kinds of methods I can't talk about in polite company. Hey, what did you do to my friend? Is somebody feeling a little better? Maybe. Just a little. When I'd heard you started studying Rolaris, I was so happy I cried. Seriously. I was bawling. My nose was running all over the place. You're so full of it. Don't start whining just because you hit a few a wall a few hundred times or so. If you understood everything right from the start, nothing would be any fun, now would it? If only I were as dumb as you are, maybe this sort of thing wouldn't bother me so much. Hey, don't make me smack you. Like with the Everlight. It's just been one long string of failures. Why haven't you stopped looking for it? The answer is simple. Everyone at school says you're crazy. The answer is very simple. It's because I believe the Everlight exists. What's that supposed to mean? You don't have to understand just yet. Man, whatever. What made you decide to study Rolaris? 
W well, I mean, I am your apprentice and all. Uh-huh. And? I was thinking I guess I should try to become a little more useful and stuff. Right, right. Are you even listening? You don't sound like you're paying attention. What a view. <laughs> oh, you stupid good-for-nothing perv! Here I am, so pure of heart, and yet my apprentice is so foul-tempered. <laughs> wow, I'll never trust you again. Not that I ever trusted you to begin with. Hey, hey, that's not very nice. Nice? Don't get me nice. It's your fault. I feel this way. I haven't trusted you since that stupid incident. What is this, a Phoenix Wright game? Incident? Oh, that. Yeah, that murder. Yeah. God. <laughs> Are we gonna... Don't laugh. Is this gonna be explained? You're still holding a grudge about that? You sure are persistent. Of course I am. Do you know how embarrassed I was at school? I have to admit, that was quite the masterpiece. <laughs> what are you, Bowser? Stop laughing. It was your fault. I never thought you'd actually believe it. I mean, hatching a boiled egg by keeping it warm? Oh. <laughs> You're an idiot. Hey, everybody, look over here. It's the village idiot. <laughs> I said stop laughing. You're such a jerk. I can't believe you kept it in your clothes every day to warm it up. Oh, man. Ow, my side hurts. Oh, I'm laughing so hard I'm crying. That's it. I've had enough of this. Today you're going to get what's coming to you. Oh, God. Whoa. Hey, wait. No Crystal Eris. That's not fair. Eat, eat this. Ooh, ow. Oh, no. Oh, dear. She got me. I'm done for. Whatever shall I do? Hey, stop dodging. If you want to get me, first you'll have to catch me. Wahahaha. <laughs> Pure white chick? Okay. I'm stupid too, but nowhere near his level. I've got to stop moping around. Tomorrow we're going to head back out there and get to work. At least she doesn't stay down for very long, you know. All it takes is thinking about Sven, and he's and she's right back up. Coolidge, wake up. Coolidge. <sighs> no one's there. Sleeping like a baby. <laughs> Huh? Chloe? D don't wake up so suddenly. You startled me. How else am I supposed to wake up? Norma's calling for us. I came to get you. More Everlight searching. We're meeting at Reynard's house. I'm going on ahead. Okay. Bye. Oof. Oh god, I hate waking up in the morning. God, I'm I'm just like Sennel. I am not a morning person. Oh my god. If you wake up, I will kill you. If you wake me up, I will kill you. So, there's that. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate mornings. Anyway. So, I believe it's over here? I think? I hope? Pretty sure? Let's see. Come on, Reynard's house. Yeah! There we go. Oh, we're all right out here. Okay, cool. Great! Looks like everyone's here. Alright, we're off to the Ice Monument. The Everlight's waiting for us. Which one was the Ice one? The North... East? I think it was the Northeast one. I hope it was the Northeast one. You sure that's the place? Of course! Have I ever been wrong before? Yeah, yes, you have. Oh, yes, many times. Where's Geet? Yesterday, for example. Did you forget already? We could be putting ourselves in danger. Do you have a good reason for taking us there? Because the Everlight's there, stupid. 
What I want to know, it, what I want to know, is why she thinks the Everlight is in the Ice Monument. You have clear evidence based on your research, I presume. Y yeah, lots. You look nervous. Why won't you give us the details? You're not Moses. You can't expect us to trust your animal instincts. You better be trying to play funny, Jay. <laughs> Say, Norma. Why don't you tell us what you're so why you're so interested in the Everwhite anyway? There must be some reason it matters so much to you. I assume Xamarin is involved somehow, a Xamarin. And that guy you call Master, he was that Sven person, right? Senel. Well, I guess if you want to know that badly, let me tell you a little story. Master was, to put it simply, the world's biggest idiot. He was an idiot, but he was fun to be around. I'm really grateful to him, too. More so than I can ever say. I was a bit of a troublemaker when I was a kid. I probably wanted my parents to stop fighting and pay attention to me. So I rebelled as much as a child could, you know? I ran away from home a lot. Aren't you still like that now? Back then, I thought the whole world was my enemy. I came to distrust adults and society and all sorts of things. It was around that time that I met Master. Or you could just say, you could just say Sven. I did a lot of crazy things, but Master was even worse. When he learned I could use Crystal Eris, he immediately enrolled me in a high-level academy. It was no place a commoner like me would have nor normally been able to attend. Even though he didn't make much money, he paid for all my school expenses. The high-level academies on the mainland aren't exactly cheap. Yeah, well, he was stupid. <laughs> So anyway, this stupid master of mine was searching for the Everlight. And so you're carrying out his last wish. Something like that. I made about half of that up just now, but that was good enough, right? <laughs> you what? I can't believe I got suckered in by your stupid sob story. I was even getting all teary-eyed. Ah, ha, ha, Red, you're so naive. Alright then, let's head on over to the Ice Monument. Yeah. Coolidge, Sentinel. We've come this far. <laughs> Coolidge, Sentinel, Sentinel, Coolidge, whatever. Uh, we've come this far already, after all. True, but we've still got a ways to go. To get to the monument, first we have to go to the White House. Let's get moving. Yeah, I know. I know where the Quiet Lands are. Do you think she really made that up? Well, we learned that this Sven person was important to her. I think that's enough. Yeah, perhaps so. Norma seemed really nice when she was talking about him. Will, Chloe, Moses, Norma, Moses, Jay, Rune and Shirley. Okay. Oh my god. So. Oh, okay. So next time on Tales of Legendia, we're going to go ahead and off. We're going to go ahead and head off to the Ice Monument to find the Everlight once and for all. I'm sure it's there. Anyway, see you guys then.